So <clears throat> this tutorial I'm going to show you how to normalize your curtain panels to make them nice and regular so that you can build them uh, and not break a budget or at least normalize them a little bit. So let's say that I am a hotshot architect who's decided that he wants to make his building look like a sailboat. Why not? People do it, right? Um, so I'm in my massing environment and I'm going to make myself a little sail and I'm putting points down around where I think my nice billowy sail shape is going to be and I'm going to do 3D snapping points and there we go connect the dots and make a nice curvy spline by point And there, nice billowy sail. You can feel the wind in your hair already. And I'm going to make a surface out of this using the create form. So there it is, nice curvy thing. Say this is a facade piece for a building. Well, I'm going to go in and now I'm going to divide the face so that I can panelize it into pieces that I can use for a building. I'm just going to stretch it out there a little bit. And oh, there, that's better. More of a jib. Alright, so I'm going to tab into it so I'm just selecting the surface. And I'm going to divide that and wah, wah. I have all of these triangular, well not triangulated, but converging lines from my divided surface. That doesn't look buildable. I'm going to get down in here, I see all these pieces that are triangles rather than nice quadrilaterals. I've got a huge change from big panels down to small panels. Now, the problem is now I need to make something that's this shape, but that doesn't have this sort of coordinate system on it. Uh, when we divide our surfaces, what we're doing is we're applying something that's called a UV coordinate system. You see it a lot in things like rendering engines for doing texture mapping. And this is basically just sort of a, a natural consequence of making a triangular form like this, is that the UV coordinates are going to work this way. The trick is to fool your triangle into thinking that it's actually uh, a four-sided entity. Uh, and it's actually not that hard to do. So I'm going to go back again to drawing on level one. And I'm going to do a similar set of operations. What I'm going to do is I'm actually going to start off by making a rectangular form. So I've got my 3D snapping points again. I'm going to make a similar line to the one that I did on the bottom. Because I want to have that same shape. I liked it. I thought the sail was billowy. But now I'm going to do another line up top, up here, to make a curvy quadrilateral. And I'm going to sort of eyeball it. And I'm going to make another form element from that. Now, you might say, well, those are just totally different things. Well, at the moment they are, but I'm going to try and basically make similar two sides here and here. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut myself a triangle out of that shape. So I'm going to grab my reference lines again. And now I'm drawing on a vertical plane. And I'm just going to slice that element with a void form. Unfortunately, it didn't really reach the whole way, but I can change that easily by going in and selecting this face of the void and pulling it right through 
that quadrilateral. If I rotate this, I can make some adjustments so that it's more precisely how I want it to be. And so now we're starting to get that same sail shape, just that you've come at it from a slightly different manner. Now the advantage of this is that if I tab in to the face of this new geometry, dun dun dun, it has been divided up along UV coordinates that coincide with the original element. And these are much more regularized panels than the original. And and now I can go in and I can apply different patterns to it and I have nice quadrilaterals that depending on how I adjust the rest of the original form that made it I can make these even more equal panel sizes and there you are there's a number of different ways to regularize geometry like this. This is just one, and I'll probably do some more tutorials for more complex geometries. But the basic idea is to make sure that your underlying, underlying form has some regular elements to it.